morning kids and welcome to Kids Church Virtual Sunday School. I'm Taryn for those of you who don't know me and we are continuing our series on the Impos Mission Impossible. In the Mission Impossible series, we find that there are many times when the plans have been changed. They may set out to accomplish a certain task and to catch the bad guy and at last minute things change. You find that the agents don't go and throw a big tantrum and cry and whine over why things do not work out according to the way they had set out. Instead, they quickly uh, uh, put through wisdom and they quickly rearrange everything so that their mission is still accomplished. In life, and much like this year, we can find that a lot of things didn't quite work out the way we had planned to work out. For instance, how about that holiday holiday trip that perhaps you guys have been planning to go on, but now because of the COVID, no one's really going on holidays. Or how about some of the accomplishments you guys had wished to accomplish out at school? But once again, because of the COVID, some of those accomplishments cannot even get accomplished. So, so right here we are faced with our own plans that has not even uh, come to pass or we cannot get them to pass. So in today's story we are going to be uh, reading from, sorry not reading but watching still a video from Acts 16 verses uh, uh, 6 through to 20. And we are going to learn about our chosen agent here and he's on a mission. And we are going to learn how his mission and his plan changed at the very last minute. So over to that story we go. The Apostle Paul traveled all over spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. On one of his journeys, Paul and his friends Silas and Timothy traveled through an area that is now a country called Turkey. After moving around to avoid places where the Holy Spirit told them not to go, they ended up in the seaport town of Troas. That night, Paul had a vision. A man from Macedonia was pleading with him, Come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul told his friends about his vision, they decided to leave for Macedonia right away believing that God had called them to preach the good news there. The fastest way to get to Macedonia from Troas was to cross the sea. So Paul and his friends boarded a boat and sailed first to the island of Samothrace. From there they continued their journey, arriving in Macedonia the next day at Neapolis. From Neapolis, Paul and his friends traveled a few miles farther inland to Philippi, which was a Roman colony and one of the larger cities in Macedonia. The group of evangelists stayed in Philippi for several days. On the Sabbath, Paul and his friends went a little way outside of the city to a riverbank because they thought they would find a place of prayer there. They sat down and began to speak with some women who had gathered by the water. One of the women by the riverside was Lydia from Tharatira. Lydia, a merchant selling expensive purple cloth, was a believer who worshipped God. As she listened to Paul, the Lord opened her heart and she accepted his message about Jesus and salvation. Paul baptized Lydia and her whole household. Lydia asked Paul and his friends to be her guests. She said to them, If you agree that I am faithful to the Lord, then come and stay at my home. Lydia continued to urge the men until they agreed. And we're back. I hope that you enjoyed that story. So from the story, we saw that Paul had visited a new place and the Holy Spirit did not allow for him to uh, travel into that, uh, uh, into that region. He did, not, he did not allow for Paul to go into um, Galatia 
and to preach the mes uh, message in the province of Asia. So when he reached the border of Messia, they tried to go into the province of Bethany, but the, whole, but the spirit of Jesus did not allow them to. So they traveled right through Messia and went to Taurus. And it was here that he had met a, uh, a lady by the name of Lydia. And Lydia was also a believer of God. So she had decided to take uh, Paul and Barnabas in and accompany, uh, and accompany them and keep them at, uh, and host them at a at a house, much like having a guest living at your house. And it was there that Paul had baptized her and her entire family. So the purpose of Paul traveling to those particular countries was to basically extend the kingdom of God and to preach the message of God and to make disciples. So he, just because the Holy Spirit did not allow him to go into Asia, it doesn't, doesn't mean that when God took him somewhere else, that he was not able to do the mission. He still did the mission using the gifts and the talents that God had given to him. So, in the same thing, from the story, we can learn those particular vital life skills for us as well. In life, there is the same. When life throws you lemons, make lemonade. I'm pretty sure that this year we've all drink a lot of lemonade. So, we can learn from the story that when one door closes, be patient and let's just wait and see. God is going to open another door for us where we can still use those gifts and those talents to fulfill the mission that God has put into our hearts. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us gifts and vision and talents. We pray that even this year that things do not work out our way, that our plans has not been fulfilled, many of our plans has not been accomplished. We leave it at your feet to God and we pray that your plans will come into will come to pass we leave our uh, um, just everything that we desire and all of our plans and we pray for, for for your doors to be open for us this we ask in jesus holy name so kids we hope that you enjoyed this week's lesson and we will see you next week go ahead and have a beautiful week god bless you Bye bye